where we last left off was um, I was going to mark this body tube and instead of using a sharpie I wanted to get a pencil um, because I don't want the ink to float up so I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't rotate around so you might want to grab an extra piece of tape um, and just tape down the end and it, this one end says forward end so this is going to be the front um, and then we're going to put a line here and this is launch lug so I'm just putting LL for launch lug this is a Y fin so I'm going to put Y fin um, that's a wing lock and a wing lock so I'll put WL for wing lock and here is an X fin And then finally, the final Y fin. Okay, just like that. And so at the, um, extend the lengths of the lines, the length of the tube using an alumina angle. The fin should be drawn about halfway from the aft end of the tube. And the support lines and the launch look line can be drawn about halfway from the forward end of the tube. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Okay, so anyone that says fin, they're going to go about to the bottom, and then the other ones are going to go towards the top. And I'm going to use a, a, an aluminum angle so I get a nice straight line, just like this. So this is a fin. That's a wing lock, so that's one of the support members. So that's going to be towards the front end. This is a fin. Here's the launch lug. That's launch lug. Okay, and step number 10. And it says from the front of the tube, mark the locations of the upper support lines. Okay, so those are not the, those are the wing locks right there. Is what's called the support lines. So three quarters of an inch. One there, and one right there. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna take the um, engine mount, and hopefully your glue is mostly dry. And I'm gonna take the uh, shock cord and just pass it through just to get it out of the way. Like this. And that's gonna be glued um, until this is f this um, end of the tube is flush with the end of this tube. So I'm going to need some glue on the inside of here. And I didn't bring a dowel. So if I don't have a dowel, I always use the back of my knife. Should have grabbed the dowel. Um, when you put glue on, keep it rotating so that the glue doesn't drip onto the table. And I'm going to go in about three inches and smear that glue around in there. I think I'll put some extra in there because once you start smearing it around, it gets real thin. And make sure that I'm not missing any. All right. That's going to start like that. And then I'm going to need another bead of glue inside of here so what I do is I'll stick the, uh, the the nozzle of the glue bottle in there and then just keep moving this around so I can get both of them in there at the same time and I got way too much glue in there so I'm going to smear it around I want to keep it on the inside of the tube not on the outside 
and then I'm gonna slide it in and I can feel it's going into the glue, which is good. And I'll just keep going in until this is flush. Um, it really doesn't matter where the engine hook goes because um, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> so don't worry about that. If there's any glue on the outside, wipe that off. That yeah, looks pretty good. Um, and then you have the option of, if you want, you can put a fillet of glue around the outside perimeter. And I'll just try if I can get a little bit of glue in there. Just, and I'm going to spread it around with the back of my knife. Just so that it's along that edge. Way too much glue. I don't really care that it's on the inside of the tube. It's, it's, I want to get it into that where the tube and the ring meet on the outside. Okay, that yeah, looks pretty good. All right, so moving along. We are on step 12 before removing the sheets, the uh, fins from the sheet. And this is sheet number 15732. We can just sand the surfaces real quick. Make it nice and smooth. Do both sides. Oh, look, they're popping out. That's okay, that's okay. Didn't break anything. Now, if they're still in there, just take your knife and just run it around the perimeter and break all the little tabs. Okay, now we also need from the other sheet of wood, and this is part number 15488, we need these two CC parts, they're labeled CC, so we'll pop those out of the wood. Okay, all right, that's good. Now, step 15, we're gonna find the little wood dowels, and there's two of them. And they are both the same length, and if you stack them up, you'll see that they're the same length. I actually want one of them a little bit shorter than the other, um, and there's a reason for this, and it just makes easy uh, swinging the wings together um, so I'm going to make it maybe like a 16th to an eighth of an inch shorter. Um, so I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to put my blade there and just roll it along the table. Okay, so now I got one that's shorter. And then we're going to round off the end of one end. Kind of make it a bevel. If you want to make it round, that's fine. Like that. And then we'll do one on the other dowel. You can see I'm just I'm just rolling it and, and twisting it at the same time as I'm dragging it across the paper. And I'm just doing that on the reverse side because it's a little easier.
Okay, so and it doesn't matter. We're going to glue these to this um, with the rounded end sticking over like that. And it doesn't matter which way we do it. I'm going to I see a little tab here, so I'm going to stack sand these and just knock that off. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I just want to make it look pretty. And you can do the same on the back side. All right, so now I'll just take a little bit of glue. set that off to dry just make sure you don't knock it over because you don't want it you don't want it crooked so you don't you know you don't want it crooked like an exaggeration like that you want it nice and straight just like that and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna come back and put a little fillet on that later just to make sure it's nice and strong just like that so those are gonna be set off to dry and that was step number 15 Step number 16 is to glue the fins onto the tube. So, okay, so the wide ones, the larger fins um, provide stability in the plane of the glider wings and should be attached to the Y fin lines. Okay, so these are the big ones. So these are your Y fins and these are your X fins. And I'm going to also um, go round off those, the leading and the trailing edge. Just make it a little bit more aerodynamic. This is a pretty draggy rocket. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause here before we start gluing them onto the tube. So go ahead and round off those edges. The only edge you don't want is this this flat one here on the bottom because we're gonna that's the one we're gonna glue to. But everything else, go ahead and round off. 